The Baltimore Ravens just got some great news regarding cornerback Marlon Humphrey and his injury status. We'll get all into that. Also, some more good news rolling in for this Ravens secondary. Man, it is uh, 9 o'clock Central Time on the Wednesday morning, and things are already happening in Baltimore. I'm excited about it. You should be excited about it. Thanks so much for tuning in to Ravens Rundown. I'm your host, Joey Peterson. And hey, it's been an awesome month so far. 1,933 subs in the month of October. Fantastic. We are 67 subs away from 2K, and that would be the record for this channel. 2,000 subs in a month. We're super close. We need you to push us over the edge. So if you haven't already subscribed, I promise you, you're not going to find a better place on YouTube if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan. So help us. Break the record. Let's get to 2K in October and hit that sub button. All right, let's waste no more time and get straight into it. Ian Rappaport with this tweet out this morning saying, Ravens all-pro cornerback Marlon Humphrey did not suffer a major knee injury last week. Sources say following tests, he's walking around with a little bit of discomfort. But after two interceptions last week, Humphrey's status is up in the air this week. And time will tell how quickly he can recover. And guys, this is fantastic. Fantastic. It's exactly what we hoped. And honestly, in my opinion, it's kind of what I thought it would be. It didn't look like it was a non contact injury. It looked like two knees banged against each other really hard. In my um, unqualified opinion, I'm going to say maybe, hopefully, it's just a bone bruise. But still, regardless of what the actual diagnosis is, this is fantastic because he's having one of his best seasons ever 33 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, eight pass deflections, and four picks already, which is a career high for him, and we're just seven games through this season. And when you look at those interception totals, yeah, they're high already, but two of them have come in massive moments. Marlon Humphrey has been able to step up for this team when they've needed him in big time situations, right? Last week, the Buccaneers are on the goal line, about to go up 17-7. to Guess who picks off Baker Mayfield in the end zone? Though two weeks prior, in Cincinnati, the Bengals are driving. They get points in that situation. That game's over. Guess who picks off Joe Burrow? You're right. It's Marlon Humphrey. So not only is he having a great season, but he's having a clutch season. You can point to him as a pretty big reason that this team has two wins. So to show some love for our man Marlo, give me some 44s in the comment section, okay? I want you to spam them. You're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break, okay? This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. I want to see 44 44s from each of you in the comment section down below. And this past defense, guys, we talked about it yesterday, and we've talked about it a lot so far this season. It's a... Uh, it's left little to be desired, to putting it lightly, okay? 32nd in the NFL in yards per game. They're giving up almost 300 yards to the air per game. Yards per pass, 7. That's 28th in the NFL. They're giving up a pass percentage of 66.3. That's 29th in the NFL. Yards after catch, they're letting up over 1,000 already in 7 games. That's 30th in the NFL. And they're letting up 178 more yards after catch than they're supposed to, or than they're expected to. That's 30th in the NFL. Fell. Guys, that's awful. Of all those five statistics, the best one is 28th in the NFL. Get out of here with that. And if you lose a guy like Marlon Humphrey, which we were worried about, just imagine how much worse those numbers will be. Now, we did get this update from John Harbaugh after the game, and this gave us a little bit of hope. He said he's walking around in there, the locker room. I can tell you that. He's in good spirits, but I don't know if it's too serious. And I'm really thankful that it wasn't too serious, okay? John Harbaugh ended up being right. And I saw that, and, and we talked about it yesterday, and sure, it's a great thing, but you also just never know because Marlon Humphrey is such an energetic, positive, happy-go-lucky guy. So you don't just know if, if, if he's that way because he's that way or if he's that way because the injury wasn't too serious. But thank goodness it's not too serious because PFF is grading Marlon Humphrey right now at a career rate. He is fifth in the NFL with his overall grade, an 81.8. And what are cornerbacks supposed to do? What's their job? 
It's to cover people, right? And his coverage grade is an 85.1. That's tied for second out of 105 graded cornerbacks across the NFL. And if you look at the passer rating that he's letting up so far in 2024, it's 79.3. And if you don't follow football too much and just automatically don't know if that's good or bad, let me paint a picture of a quarterback that has a 79.3 passer rating. Deshaun Watson. Again, no disrespect on a guy who just tore his Achilles, but he was having an awful season even before that, okay? So basically, every quarterback that's targeting Marlon Humphrey or is trying to get the wide receiver that Marlon Humphrey's covering, basically they're Deshaun Watson. That's how good he's been. And at the end of the day, guys, this team needs him. They do. Imagine, like I said, this secondary hasn't been great. Imagine it without him, okay? So this is a very fortunate outcome to what could have been a very bad injury, okay? So thank goodness Marlon Humphrey's okay. Thank goodness you still got him on this team. We don't know how long he's going to be out. Okay, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But man, just very fortunate news. Very thankful that he's okay and just very happy that Marlon Humphrey hopefully will be back in the starting rotation very soon. Do you know what you should be very happy about? You should be very happy that Ollie's a sponsor of today's video because it is clean and fresh nutrition for your dog. And right now, Ollie is offering a fantastic deal to let your pup taste test a personalized meal plan. Get 60% off your first box of meals when you use promo code CHATSPORTS at Ollie.com. And five flavors they'll absolutely love. You don't have to be a vet to know that feeding your dog real whole foods with minimal processing is one of the best choices you can make for their health. With no harmful fillers and no preservatives, Ollie is made in U.S. kitchens with ingredients carefully sourced from trusted growers and producers around the world. Here's how it works. Fill out Ollie's 30-second quiz and they'll create a customized meal plan. Ollie then crunches the numbers and recommends the right recipes and daily portions for your pup. For any first-timers, Ollie will send out your pup's first box with two weeks worth of meals and a guide on how to gradually switch them over to their new diet. Ollie offers three meal plans to choose from, so you can choose between a full fresh plan, fresh topper plan, or a mixed plan with their freshly baked recipes. Guys, I have a dog. My wife and I have a dog. Her name is Applesauce, and we're going to be honest. She's the light of our life. That smile you see right there from me is 100% genuine. That's how happy she makes me all the time. And so I want to make sure she's getting the cleanest, the freshest, and the healthiest dog food that is out there on the planet. And that's why we switched to Ollie. And I know that switching your dog's food can come with a little bit of stress, right? You don't know how their stomach's going to react. You don't know if it's going to make them sick because you're changing up their whole diet. But that's the great thing about Ollie is when they send you your box, they send you a nice little pamphlet and it perfectly maps out day by day how much of the new food you should add with their old food. And within just seven days, yes, you heard me right, just one week, your pup will be eating strictly Ollie and they'll be happier, healthier, and frankly, just have a better time because of it. So I thank you should head over to ollie.com because right now they're offering an incredible deal. So tell them about your dog. Use code CHATSPORTS and you'll get 60% off your first box of meals when you subscribe today. Head to ollie.com and enter code CHATSPORTS to get 60% off your first box. They offer a clean bowl guarantee on their first box. So if you're not completely satisfied, you can get your money back. Again, that's ollie.com and use code CHATSPORTS. Sports. Alrighty, so we don't know how long that he's going to be out, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's just one or two weeks. Because when you look at the next opponents that the Ravens have up, it's like, I don't want to say you don't need him because this pass defense has been so bad, but you're not playing pass offenses that have that, that are set records, okay? They're not lighting up a lot of fireworks in Denver and in Cleveland, okay? The Browns, who you got next? You got them on Sunday, 159.6 pass yards per game. That's 30th in the NFL. Then you take on the Broncos, 169.9 pass yards per game. That's 29th in the NFL. So you could argue, okay, maybe don't rush him back. Maybe give him a little time to fully heal and make sure he's good for that next opponent because then you're taking on Cincinnati again. This this one's at home. It's in prime time. 237.4 yards per game. 
passing the football. That's eighth in the NFL, okay? And last time you played Cincinnati, Plain and simple, Joe Burrow lit you up. Now, the good thing is, is Lamar Jackson lit them up a little bit more, but still, Joe Burrow lit you up. So it's a good thing for these next two opponents that they're not quite the best passing offenses in the NFL. That's some good news right there. But I got a question for you. Do you think Humphrey will be in the lineup and the starting lineup on the field by the Bengals game? Okay. Do you think he's ready? Come, I believe it's November 7th, that game. Thursday night football. If you think yes, give me a Y in the comment section. And if you think no, give me an N. Guys, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. Honestly, you'll get daily Ravens videos, breaking news coverage, weekly watch parties. I'm live for every single game. And the best part is, you know what the best part is, Colin? It's, it's all free. It's all 100% free. So join the 21,000 plus Ravens fan that we got here rocking with us on Ravens Rundown. All right, let's talk about the second little bit of good news. This one's coming from late yesterday. Jeff is right back with this tweet. Ravens activate cornerback Arthur Ballette from injured reserve. He's eligible to make his season debut in sun on Sunday in in Cleveland. And this is honestly perfect timing, right? Because he's a great nickel option at that cornerback position. And when you look at Marlon Humphrey this year, he's taken more st snaps guarding that slot wide receiver than he ever has in his career, okay? And Arthur Mallette is really good in that slot, guarding that slot wide receiver. So if it is the case that Marlon Humphrey isn't playing against him, or excuse me, against Cleveland on Sunday, it's kind of perfect timing that Arthur Mollette is now on this 53-man roster and is activated off of injury reserve. And I just think he gives this secondary a little more depth, a new little wrinkle, and the more horses you got in the stable, it's always going to be better. So it's looking like, guys, and I know it's been a tough start. I know it's been a very slow start, but this secondary might be rounding into place, okay? It might be. And if this secondary gets going and they finally stop stopping or start stopping people, it might be dangerous, okay? It might just get a little dangerous for everybody else in the NFL. Overall, happy that Marlowe's okay. Happy that hopefully he'll be back in the lineup very soon and that it's no long-term effects because we've seen this team without him in the lineup and, uh, I personally like him better when he's in the lineup. All right, that'll do it today for our video. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Joey Peterson. This has been Ravens Rundown. Let's get to 2K, and I need you to do so. So hit that sub button.